Addressing her reported falling out with Meghan Markle for the first time, Jessica Mulroney has taken to Instagram with a fiery statement. Meghan Markle's best friend Jessica Mulroney has set the record straight about their reported falling out for the first time. The Canadian stylist, who has been best friends with the Duchess of Sussex for years, became embroiled in a racism saga involving a lifestyle blogger who accused Mulroney of abusing her white privilege earlier this year. Following the scandal, reports suggested Meghan had cut ties with Mulroney, but she has sensationally taken to Instagram to declare Meghan as like family in a since-deleted post. I'm going to tell this once and for all. Meghan and I are family. She is the kindest friend and has checked up on me every day, Mulroney wrote on her Instagram story, according to People. Tabloid culture is atrocious. It creates lies and hurtful storyline. Stop feeding into it. Done, she added. Meghan reportedly reacted with shock after hearing of her friend's tone-deaf threats to sue influencer Sasha Exeter. Mulroney, who is thought to be the godmother of Meghan and Harry's child Archie, was called out directly in an Instagram video shared by Exeter in June, who claimed she had displayed very problematic behavior and antics that ultimately resulted in, Mulroney, sending me a threat in writing. Exeter publicly blasted Mulroney in an emotional 12-minute Instagram video, describing how she had threatened her during an argument about speaking up against racism and had left her feeling paralyzed in fear. Exeter then claimed that Mulroney had sent her a series of offensive messages, which ended with a threat to her livelihood. Mulroney herself commented on the video to apologize, and alluded to her friendship with Meghan, who has been at the center of racist attacks since she began dating Prince Harry in 2016. I am unequivocally sorry for not doing that with you and for any hurt I've caused. As I told you privately, I have lived a very public and personal experience with my closest friend where race was front and center, she wrote. It was deeply educational. I learned a lot from that. I promise to continue to learn and listen on how I can use my privilege to elevate and support black voices. What term, from this day forward, will be the commonly accepted slang for a woman fucking a man in the ass with a strap-on dildo? Savage asked his savage lover eaters 21 years ago. Pegging came forth the answer. The neologism has returned to the public square as the sexual act at the center of a widely shared blind gossip item posted on Dumois. The item claims an unnamed, heterosexual member of the royal family is into this particular sexual activity. The blind gossip item says this royal's extramarital affair is an open secret in London and amongst the English aristocrat, and is the talk of every party and news desk. How very Bridgerton, and Lady Whistledown. At a recent media party, the item author says, I was told the real reason for the affair was the royal's love of pegging, which the wife is far too old-fashioned to engage in. The wife doesn't mind her, and in fact prefers her husband getting his sexual needs fulfilled elsewhere, as long as things don't become emotional, which was the case with the last woman. Online, pegging is trending, as is hashtag Prince of Pegging, as the internet sparks into fevered life, speculating about who the royal is and who is getting it. As Emily Lloyd's character once joyfully shouted out to all the neighbors in the movie Wish You Were Here Up Your Bum. Pegging has featured in scenes in TV shows such as Broad City and The Bold Type. There are many informative articles about the safest and most pleasurable ways for people to engage in it I click away. Since 2001, according to sex educator Luna Matadas in an article for Refinery29, the definition of pegging has expanded to escape its original heterogender binary. We know that anyone, even people with penises, can strap on a dildo, and anyone, even people without penises, can receive strap-on play. The message, anyone can peg now. Peg away, peggers. The Independent has provided a helpful how-to guide for consensual, pleasurable pegging for those with a dildo, some lubricant, and some time to explore this weekend. And whatever fun is had out there, well done to the mystery, allegedly pegging royal. You have made the monarchy cool, briefly, once more. You have made the